The fridge in my last quarantine hotel was like my height. It's not instantly there. I think when you get older, you have a point of comparison. This is my baon and marmite. These are my favorite. They kept giving me free food as well. There's some bread and marmite for dinner. So call me Cray. Another thing that you need to request for when you check in the Picasso Boutique Hotel is dishwashing soap. They, it's not instantly there. So I really don't like to compare, but when I stayed um, at the Seda Makati Hotel, the moment you go in, you're like pretty good for the for your quarantine stay. They have everything. They have a robe, they have all your pots and pans, they have dishwashing soap, they have a rice cooker, they have a strainer, they have a, a can opener. I mean, just anything you can think of. It's it's quite amazing. And to think that Seda Makati was a lot cheaper than staying here. They kept giving me free food as well. Um, in my stay here, everything is, I feel like they're really counting everything. So that's one thing to note. However, on the positive side, I like Picasso Hotel because the staff is very friendly. They're very willing to assist. My room is spacious enough. I love that they're very environmental and I love the smell of all the soaps that they provide. So if you notice the soap I'm using as well, it's just one of the soaps that I got from previous hotel. I didn't bother to ask for dishwashing soap anymore because I don't know, I just thought I'd probably use my own resources and I think there's charge as well. I flashed at the card on one of my other videos. I think it's, I don't know, there's charge anyway. If you call the reception, they might just provide it for free. If, if they did provide it for free, I'd imagine that it would have come with all my pots and pans, but it's only the pots, pans, knives, chopping boards that arrived with no dishwashing soap. So I'm just assuming that it's not free. <laughs> I like having my tea with just milk. And in case you're wondering where I got this milk, it's from my previous hotel at the Holiday Inn. Do check that video out. I made a room tour on what my room looked like uh, at staying at the Holiday Inn over at Southampton in, in, in England. I'm such a Filipino that way because I love making baon. In fact, Eddie, I don't know, he's like, he's probably used to it already, but you know, seeing him as him seeing me making baon, all these like random bits, like uh, this this seems normal because it's it's muesli but things like milk or coffee sachets or even a hard-boiled egg he prefers to just buy those things but i love making bowen i don't know it's just fun it's like having a picnic <laughs> would probably be eating junk food like crisps or I don't know just nasty salty deep fried nibbles but I think when you get older you you realize that some of the fat don't leave your body so look at my nibblers this is my finger food what does it have it's got muesli in it oats Almonds, sunflower seeds. Actually, these are my favorite. Pumpkin seeds. Mm. I think if you're so used to eating junk food, this is gonna taste very bland, but because I think I've trained, well, if you also as well train your palate to just not have super rich, salty, sweet food, all of a sudden, <laughs> something like this could actually be pretty flavorful and it's healthy for you as well <laughs> and it makes you full like after you start munching on this you're pretty full it's not like an empty full it's a very satisfying nurturing kind of full saying that i'm actually going to prepare some bread and marmite for dinner it's not the most ideal type of dinner but 
think because I've been eating so rich, I had huge mac and cheese. I've been having salami and cheese. I think now I just want something on the lighter side, so just bread and marmite will do. I am so thirsty. What I miss about being in my home in Manila, because right now I'm still here in my quarantine hotel, is I miss being able to get water from our faucet, but our faucet is linked to the uh, filtering machine. So that way I don't have to have all this plastic or these bottles. So it gets water from the tap, but it filters it as it goes through. I actually don't know how it works, but even more so I love being in the UK because you just get water from the tap and you don't have to worry about getting any uh, or too much bacteria. It's generally clean, but I'm talking about particularly Scotland. I'm not sure how the water is like in England or in Wales, but in Scotland, the water is so sweet. It tastes like spring water. It's just delicious. But it's part of the fun and being back in the Philippines. <laughs> Actually starting to get very hungry. I'm gonna turn this on. But watch when I turn it on, I'll blast it a little bit. I love how this quickly gets super duper duper hot. And while I'm heating up my pan, uh, my camouflage fridge is under here. So again, it's really wrong to compare, but the fridge in my last quarantine hotel was like my height. And so it's just nice walking to the kitchen and opening it normally, not having to like kneel the way I do right now. I stayed in Sera Makati Hotel and I absolutely love it there. I love it in Picasso as well. The fridge is just small. It's not as comfortable. It's hard not to compare because you have a point of comparison. But moving forward, these are all my goodies from the UK. And this is my baon <laughs> from the airport. And actually the cookies all the way still from Eddie's house. Well, I'm gonna have more. It's actually 10, no, it's half, it's almost 11. So I'm just gonna have something that you'd normally have when you start the day. It's called Marmite. It's 100% vegetarian. I can't remember what the ingredient, I think it's got yeast and they taste so good and I was told by Auntie Kim, Eddie's mom, is that you either love Marmite or you just you just can't stand it. In my case, I absolutely love it. It's, it's tangy, it's bitter, it's just a very unique flavor. And in case you're wondering why I'm putting that bread over there, we don't have an oven toaster, we only have this good boy over there. Microwave is always very useful, but I would like to have my bread crispy still. I'm a little bit Marta that way, Sana. This gets crispy. I did do this with my croissant the other day and it was pretty soggy. It turned out like really crispy. So it's something something new that I, that I learned here. When you lack the like the resources or the the products, you just tend to find ways on being resourceful. <laughs> and so hence I'm using the pan to crisp up my bread and and that's what I'm gonna have and marmite. Simple, humble, but delicious and healthy dinner, I might say. Except for that the bread is white. But Marmite is pretty, it's pretty healthy, I think. 